And good morning, world, from Kentucky. Boy, do I have some big, big news and a big reveal to share with you today. That is the purpose of this video today. Uh, I'm here in Kentucky at uh, a very dirty Cumberland River here, but uh, still, waterfront. Although some pictures and information have been leaked, most of you, this is gonna be a surprise. Did Eric get a new RV? Did uh, Eric trade in his RV for a new one? Well, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the new Yoda, the Tioga. That's right, a custom vinyl wrap. This is the project that uh, I have been working on ever since I left Ohio and came down to Georgia. I came down specifically for a shop uh, Z decals to do the work because they came highly recommended and that's why I had to stay at the hotel because this took over four days of work not to mention the month of planning involved in that. A lot of reasons why I did this and I kind of want to share with you how I came to this conclusion and how we got here to this point. It's a full wrap all the way around including the, the, the sides of the cab and the top of the cab. Um, so why did I do this instead of buying a new RV? I have mentioned in the past that I've been saving up for over a year, uh, putting aside money to, to trade in this RV and all the work I've done into it and to get a newer RV and on a Ford chassis. Um, well, what's happened, obviously, is that repairs have come up and it's, it's cost me some money to keep this thing on the road full time, as you guys that follow me know. Well, that's dipped into my savings quite a bit. And, but despite all that, I was still ready to sell it uh, about three weeks ago. No, a month ago. I was ready to sell the RV. So in order to do that, I started building my, my Craigslist ad and I had to find out all the details about my RV. And some of this meant that I had to go through receipts for the last two and a half years of owning this RV to see what's been fixed, repaired, and what everything's cost. And that's what hit me was the cost. Okay. Again, I've had this RV for just over two and a half years now. Helicopter. In chassis related repairs alone, I've spent over $24,000 on repairs in two and a half years. That's almost staggering, okay? I paid $21,000 for the RV with 23,000 miles but I've put over $24,000 into mechanical driveline alone. That's not including the stuff like the solar kit, the tinted windows, the security system with the GPS and the cameras and, and, and the refrigerator and all the things I've updated, the flooring and everything. So basically I'm driving around to me something I've put over $45,000 into. So at that point, how do I say this? You, you're trading something that you know the condition of and you know what's been replaced for something that you don't know, right? And that's all I've done my entire life is put a bunch of stuff into something and then trade it and get the raw end of some deal just to get something better or newer. Well, guess what, guys? I came to the conclusion that this RV is good, okay? Now, still, three months now, no check engine light on, except for the brake problem. <laughs> Uh, this RV is fantastic and it's worked really, really well for me and I have a ton of faith in this RV. So it just made sense to invest. That helicopter is just really, I came out here to the middle of nowhere and this helicopter is just doing laps. Anyway, helicopter aside, uh, I decided that it, it would be better for me to get a facelift on my current RV to make her exterior look good because once you start getting peeling decals and delamination and all those things, that's why it was great working with the company Z Decals because we created a really busy design with lots going on. That means it's gonna hide a lot of the old blemishes. Uh, we didn't even remove any of the old decals and stuff. You don't, you don't need to. As long as there's enough going on inside your design, you're gonna be able to hide the imperfections. And so this is a five to seven year wrap. Like, I mean, it'll, it'll last longer than that, but that's what it's rated for because the sun's gonna deteriorate it and fade it a little bit. I ditched the old logo with the Eric and Jacks. We're just going a little more plain, a little more simple. Um, 
some of the things that I was doing in my researching was finding out what kind of an audience you can reach with mobile advertising like this. And compared to all the other kinds of advertising like radio and TV and billboards and stuff like that, this is actually the cheapest and the best value for your buck when it comes to advertising. Not to mention, guys, I'm already on the road, right? I mean, I already have the billboard on the road. I might as well promote my own channel. And with that said, please understand that I don't, I'm not getting like a big head about myself. I mean, yes, I have built this channel, but I built it because of viewers like you and subscribers like you that keep coming back for quality content. Without you, I wouldn't be here making videos, period. So this is not me getting a big head or thinking I'm somebody that I'm not. This is about me investing in the channel and trying to reach more people. I still have people today tell me from the old logos that, hey, I drove past you on the freeway, saw your logo, looked you up on my cell phone and subscribed. <laughs> or an, in traffic or at a gas station or at an RV park or wherever I park, you know. It's my right to be able to advertise my channel and that's a great opportunity to, to drive people to the channel. Not that I need to pay. I mean, as you guys know, I have haters who for every one video I create, they create 30 new videos every two days, mocking me and making fun of me, but they're, I don't pay them. Like I don't pay them anything and yet they put my name out there. They put my face, my picture. <laughs> Seriously, your haters are really your best resource. And still to this day, people tell me, I have no idea, I clicked on this crazy hater video, and then I came over here to see what you were, and actually you have a really good channel. Lots and lots, I would say 30% of my new subscribers come from the stupid idiot hater videos that are still being made today, and I don't pay them a dime, literally. They wake up every other day, watch my video, and they are on the clock working for me for free to advertise and promote. <laughs> the nomadic fanatic on the road. It's kind of funny, but you know, this is an investment in the channel. This is an investment in the RV. This is to say that I'm keeping the RV on the road and I'm gonna keep it well maintained. I know it looks, okay, if I park in a place that has trees and rivers, I'll blend right in, right? I mean, I'll, I'll be camouflaged in a place like this, but if I go to Walmart, I'm gonna stick out more, right? That's okay though. I have to keep switching hands. This, this gimbal is gonna get, I, I get about 60 seconds per hand and then my hand starts getting tired. Um, I, I realize that, that I've lost my privacy. People are gonna bug me all the time, but nobody has ever been mean about it. People respect the hours. Uh, even if I have the door open on the other side with the screen closed, you know, people don't just come up nonstop. They, they do it at the right time of day or they get within 10 feet of the door and then like, Eric, is it okay if I say hi? You know. So I'm not worried about losing my privacy or sticking out like a sore thumb. I wanna meet my viewers. I like talking with you guys, giving out free stickers and shaking your hand and getting to know you. Putting a face to some of the people that I may have communicated with on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook last year. It's kinda of nice to meet viewers. And now there's a recognizable RV that you can't say could be somebody else, right? This is definitely gonna be Eric's rig. And it makes me smile because this setting this, this, this scenery on here, well, that's, that's where I want to be most of the time, you know? I don't want to be at the RV parks. I don't. Uh, what do you guys think, though? Is it over the top? Maybe a little bit. But, uh... <laughs> it makes me smile. It's going to take some getting used to. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, I just wanted to uh, share that with you guys. Jax and I are doing fantastic. As I said, we're here in Kentucky, so we're gonna book it for the rest of the day and get back to Ohio to finish the Lincoln Highway on east towards New York City. Thank you so much for your viewership, guys. Thank you for watching my videos, sharing them with your friends, telling people, subscribing to the channel. It means so much to me that you guys continue to stick with Jax and I through thick and thin. And through the thin, I mean, that's why we get to enjoy the really good, neat stuff that happens so much more. Because we've all made it through the rough times uh, on, on the road. You know, transmissions, engines, refrigerators, every that breaks, everything that's happened. Uh, we all earned this here. Also, 150,000 subscribers. Are you kidding me, guys? How could, how could I ever expect that? Or, I can't even, I can't even think right now. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> when I started this channel nearly five years ago, if you told me that Jax and I riding in an RV were gonna have more than 150,000 subscribers on YouTube, there's just no way. I, I'm, I'm amazed. Thank you, everyone. I am here 
because of you and because of you alone and my hard work in the channel, obviously. So anyway, we'll cut back in in a couple days back on the Lincoln Highway. I want to get a couple days of filming tomorrow and the next day first. So y'all take care and tell me what you think about the wrap in the comments below. Bye guys.